Welcome back. In the previous step, we looked at the basics of an executor service. We executed a number of tasks using an executor service. In this step, let's look at how to return values from threads. Let's create a new class. I'll call this callable runner. And I will add a main method in here. And let's maximize and let's get started. Now, I would want to create a task which would return our value back. How can I do that? Let's see that in this specific step. Let's start with creating a class. So I would want to call this callable task. Right? Callable task is something which would return a value. So in, until now, to create threads, we were implementing a runnable interface. But for implementing a task which returns value, we have to implement a callable interface. And now I can go and say, let's import callable first, java.util.concurrent. And let's now say add unimplemented methods. This would create a method called call. What I'll do is I would want to return a string back. So let's say callable of string. And instead of returning an object, we will return a string back as well. So what we are doing in here is we are creating a call method which would return some value back. What I'll do is similar to the previous thing where we created in the executor service, what I would want to have is a simple parameterized thing. So what I'll do is I'll create a constructor. So I'll say public callable task. and say it's string name. So we are giving a name to this task and we'd say this dot name is equal to name. And I would create a field called name in here. And let's say when the call finishes, let's return hello plus name. And also one of the other things I would do is make this wait for a little while. So I'll say thread dot sleep thousand. The reason why we are making it wait is typically when you are executing a thread, you do a lot of processing in it. So what we are doing in here is doing a lot of processing and then finally returning a return value. How can I run this thread? I can use an executor service to do that. So let's create an executor service, executor service, executor service is equal to executors dot let's use a fixed thread pool of size one let's import it in import concurrent okay cool now i can execute this callable by executor service dot submit until now we were using the execute method so the submit method can be used to execute a callable Thing. So if something returns a value, then you would need to use this submit. So the task is new callable task. And I can pass in, let's say, in 28 minutes. So new callable task of in 28 minutes, I can take the th thing and assign it to a new variable. So I'm assigning it to a new variable saying, welcome future. So what we have done until now is we did a submit and we are taking the value and put it to a future of string. So one of the important things that you would need to note is the future of string in here, right? So this is a thread. This is what? This is a thread. The thread would only complete execution after a little while. So this would be executing in parallel to the main method. So for example, if I have some code in here, let's say I will say sys out and sys. I'm doing a system.out.print and slash n main completed. This is the last statement in the main. So the main thread would be executing this. Just before main completed, what I'll do is I'll also put another statement saying, I'll just put this code in here. New callable executed, right? So what I'm saying in here is I'm saying new callable of in 28 minutes is executed. 
just so that we can see what is happening in the background right so now what we can do in here is we can try and get the return value how can we get the return value after the whole thing completes execution i can say welcome future dot get a value and this one actually throws an exception so i'll say add throws declaration so control one and add throws declaration it throws a few ex exceptions so we'll have the main throw them as well and what i'll do now is i'll assign this to a local variable so this is the welcome message and what we'll do is we'll print out the welcome message so let's see what would happen let's execute this you can see that it's executed and then the welcome message is printed that's hello in 28 minutes and after that main is completed in this step we looked at the basics of how to create a callable task and how to execute it using the submit method of the executor service one of the important things that the get method does is on a future you can call a get method future is not really a result it's a promise that there will be a result once i call a get method on the future then this would wait for the task to complete execution so only after completing the task the next line would be executed in the next step we would talk about a little bit more of a complex things with callable tasks until then bye bye this video is part of a java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on java you can find the complete course details in the description of the video along with it you can also find the details of a free pdf with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes creating great programmers.